I'm, uh, I'm Brian O'Halloran. I'm an actor. Um, I'm uh, currently living out of New Jersey. Uh, originally born and raised in the Bronx, New York, till I was 11. And here I am, out here at the Long Island Film Festival. So, um, how is it and what does it mean to you to come out to you know, a pretty local film festival somewhat close to your, your hometown? And, uh, you know, what does it mean to you to, to come out and see this? Coming out here, um, it gives you the hope and the, uh, the courage and uh, just the feeling of, of goodness that the fact that there are people in your local community that want to make film that still have the passion to make film. It's not something that's done all far away in Hollywood or in the center of some studios in the middle of Manhattan. It can be done in your local neighborhoods and it is done unknowingly to a lot of people who didn't realize like, wow, there are a lot of filmmakers here out in, on, out in Long Island. And, and that's in every community around the United States where every local film festival that pops up, which there are lots of, which is a great thing. Um, it's a wonderful thing to know that that art form is still being done locally. It's not something that you can import you know, from away and be like, oh, well, those jobs went away. No, we have, you know, actors here in the States, filmmakers here that want to that wanna do film. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, you sort of answered this question already, but why would you say it's important for independent filmmakers to, you know, persevere and, and, and not get discouraged with, you know, a plethora of things that come up when making a, an independent film, money, everything like that? Well, I, you know, I say that to, to keep you know, pushing through the problems. I mean, every barrier is just another learning experience to overcome. And when you overcome those experiences, you learn how to do it better the next time, and those, those barriers are no longer there. So um, to keep on striving through, there are downs and there are ups. I've been involved in films that took 10 years before it got distribution at times. Um, it's those type of it's that type of tenacity that you need as a filmmaker. Yeah, you might, you might run out of money at one point, but eventually you will get more money to then eventually finish your film and you know, have it seen by an audience. And a great place to start is at local film festivals within your county, hopefully then within your, or within your state. And if your state doesn't have one, then within your region like the Northeast or the Southeast or the West or the Midwest. And it's important to just keep striving and to do it. And plus, the technology is becoming more accessible. You know, uh, high-definition cameras and digital video technology has made it a lot cheaper and easier for the, every man to make his story. Put a camera on some sticks, get some lights, you get some talent behind it to, to tell the story you want to tell. And if it, it could be a great riveting story that, or hysterical story that you then will have entertained hundreds. Indie films have come a long way since uh, Clerks was made, right? Yeah, but it's still the same basics. You still need a great script. You, you still need, you know, actors who, who can handle the, the dialogue and the storytelling. You need a terrific crew who will go long hours, day and night, to, to make your, your story told. So that part of filmmaking hasn't changed since day one. Since the first black and white flip book type films, you still need all those elements. And that's something that will never change. Yeah, technology will make certain things easier, but you still need that person to think of those words to write that story, that person to then direct those words, and then those actors and those technicians to, to bring that vision alive in film. Mm -hmm. so. um, one last question. Um, what would you tell aspiring actors, filmmakers, you know, every, um, what would you tell them, you know, about, you know, from where you came to where you are now, what would you say, you know, what kind of message would you tell them? You know, to aspiring filmmakers and actors especially, you know what, the education side of things is very important. It's a lot easier once you know the history, and it's a lot easier once you know the technique and the technology, uh, especially since technology changes every year, um, to know how to tell that story. You know, writing, you know, writers, screenwriters who want to write screenplays, you know, it, it's best to tell the story that you want to tell, and an education cannot be underestimated. It's, you know, and don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what the learning process is about, is to, to ask people and hear their opinions, and that'll help you in your process. So have an open mind and ask people questions. Thank you so much. I